The Youth League cites it, 80% or so of its argument is the Freedom Charter. There are other ancillary arguments, but essentially it says we must have nationalization because the Freedom Charter says so, and the Freedom Charter is ANC policy. In that it is correct. Everyone who joins the ANC signs a document to say they subscribe to the Freedom Charter. So the Youth League is absolutely right about that. It is ANC policy, the Freedom Charter. The question is, does the Freedom Charter call for nationalization? That's a completely separate question. The Freedom Charter has one sentence and one sentence only that could possibly mean nationalization of mines or banks. This is it. It says the mineral wealth beneath the soil, the banks and monopoly industry shall be transferred to the people as a whole. The entire discourse flows from those few words. That is the origin and basis of the entire argument. There is no reference in the Freedom Charter to nationalizing anything. Uh, there is reference to the minerals in the ground, the banks and monopoly industry being owned by the people. And that was very clearly explained by people like Mandela at the time to mean the people in their own name and not the government. Uh, if anyone wanted to nationalize anything during the 1950s, the charter was 55, they would have said so. Nationalization was happening all over the world. It was very popular. The ANC quite clearly deliberately avoided the word because it's not what they wanted or believed in. The person who actually wrote those words, uh, Ben Turok, explained that it never meant nationalization, neither then nor now. And so the Youth League simply does not understand what the Freedom Charter says. Uh, it clearly hasn't read it and it presupposes that ownership by the people in their own name is the same as the government. Now the ANC at the time was under the apartheid regime and it's completely impossible that it would have equated the government with the people. If it wanted the government to do something, which there is some of in the Freedom Charter, it is basically core functions, services. That's all the ANC had in mind in the Freedom Charter for the government. Certainly in no sense at all did it have anything to do or did it mean nationalization. But it's important to understand the National Party at the time of the Freedom Charter was nationalizing and was in favor of nationalization and what we call state-owned enterprises or parastatals like South African Airways, SABC, formerly SASOL, ESCO uh, and all of these, the railways, the harbors, all of these were private and were nationalized. So these are all previously nationalized. The ANC inherited from the apartheid regime a huge amount of loot that was nationalized. And what it should do is the opposite of nationalize even more. There's far too much that's nationalized. What it should do, take Eskom and Sassel and um, uh, SABC and so on, and turn them over to the people. It should do what the Freedom Charter says which is hand uh, uh, strategic industries, monopoly industries, state-owned enterprises. By the way, a thing like strategic industry used to mean in those days something owned by the government. So uh, it should take these and hand them to the people directly for free. It should turn South Africa into a nation, especially black South Africans, a nation of shareholders and not a nation of sole servants.